The OSIRIS is an imaging system, basically a camera, but instead of detecting visible light, it detects a light in the infrared range. What happens is that instead of seeing the surface of a painting, the infrared lights penetrate further into the painting and are reflected back off of the light ground. So then what we get is an image that looks through the paint and images the underdrawing and the ground layer of the painting. And we couldn't sample, basically, and get an underdrawing. We can't x-ray and get an underdrawing. You know, really, this is the way that you would do that. There would be really no way for us to do this investigation that we're doing right now with anything else but an Osiris. There were uh, ways to do it with a regular camera and infrared film, uh, but now it's very difficult to find infrared film and it's even more difficult to find someone who can process it. Well, the Osiris has some limitations. If there is a light ground, a normal paint layer, the thicker the paint layer, the harder it is to get it to penetrate. It won't penetrate certain colors. So, you know, almost every exam that we have has some limitations. Because it was developed for outer space, of course, it's a camera with no viewfinder, which kind of complicates getting an image the quality that you like that's in focus. It's done basically based on the size of the painting. You would measure the largest dimension of the painting, and then you would use various graphs that we have uh, to figure out how far the camera needed to be from the painting, and uh, also to set your bellows in and out. So basically, though, you have to take a scan or a partial scan in order to see if you're in the right place. Currently, we're working on a, a project to help authenticate 29 paintings in our collection. It's a relatively unknown artist. We only have one signed painting in his whole oeuvre. He only would sign marine paintings because of the hierarchy. The other, you know, he did landscapes and decorative paintings to pay his bills. But, you know, his idea of great art was, you know, the, the traditional marine painting. Because there's no signatures, we have to work on similarities. So what we're doing is we have infrared photographs of 30 known, accepted, attributed paintings by this artist, Thomas Chambers. And now we are currently doing infrared photography of our collection of 29 paintings to see if we can find similarities or differences that would help us move toward an, an attribution for the paintings. One particular painting that we're working on in the Osiris Project is a Thomas Chambers painting called The Wreck of the Bristol in Rockaway, on Rockaway Beach. And it's basically a shipwreck. And it's a very kind of light painting, and, but there's no indication of any underdrawing at all on it visually. Sometimes we have a clue that there's going to be something, but this is just as uh, strictly a paint film with no indication that there's anything under it. It's been our, actually our most uh, successful scan. It's almost a perfect painting uh, as far as the thickness of the paint because we've got an incredible detail of that painting which gives us a bounty of information. And we can use that in reference to paintings that have less if we can identify, well, this is the same loop as we see here and here. It broadens what we can uh, determine from a less successful scan, one with less information to record. It's like uh, analyzing handwriting, really. It's kind of the same concept. You look for how does he make a cloud formation, or how would he uh, designate that where he wants spraying water, or a wave. All of these things you know, kind of have a, a calligraphy to them. And so by comparing the underdrawing from one set of knowns to our suspected <laughs> collection, we can maybe help identify a specific hand at work.